you go. There it goes. There it goes. How's it going? Coming at you with another ride video. But before we get to the ride, we got a few upgrades to do real quick. Tomorrow, we're gonna be heading to Greg's place and we're gonna be riding all our local trails with the core crew. We'll have all the guys you're used to out there and there's a ton of snow on the ground. So it's gonna be our first real winter ride. We got about probably 10 to 15 inches of snow depending on where in the bush we're gonna be and it's been damn cold lately so the ground is going to be frozen there's gonna be no grit I'm running these Tusk Megabyte tires from Rocky Mountain ATV MC I've been playing with them for a little while I've had them on a few rides they've been doing really well and they've really impressed me I'd say they're a really solid runner-up to the XTR 370s I was running before with a few pros and cons that we can get into later in the video but for now, we got a secret weapon that's gonna help us tomorrow. We got a set of iGrip tungsten carbide studs. These are screw-in tire studs. Developed and manufactured in Canada, this is a premium product, guys. If you watch the channel frequently, you probably saw these things in action last season. And to prove how tough they are, I pulled all the studs out of my tires last season after running them all year. These studs were in my machine all last season. I did a bunch of road riding, we did a bunch of trail riding and a lot of mixed conditions. And there is no damage on these bad boys. The tungsten carbide is almost as hard as a diamond. The asphalt, the rock, the concrete, nothing is gonna damage this, this stud on the trail. This stud will destroy anything it touches, including your epoxy floors in your garage your driveway, your trailer, and anything else it comes in contact with. <laughs> with that being said, we're gonna stud these bad boys up real good, and they're gonna be our secret weapon on the trail tomorrow. When you're out riding in the snow, you probably know that when that ground is frozen, as soon as the first person or two goes up that and spins those tires, you glaze the climb. You get rid of all the texture, and everything you touch with the tire turns to glass and then you get some really unpredictable conditions where one person can make it up the hill, the next guy kind of struggles but does it, and after that it just turns into a roller coaster. You got no brakes, no steering, nothing. So when you're on that hill, you're at the mercy of gravity basically, unless you're studded up, because then you at least have some grip. You guys are gonna see a massive difference tomorrow on how my machine performs with studs, versus all the other vehicles that are just gonna be running regular tires. We'll be running about four to five PSI in the 32 by 10 by 15 Tusk Megabytes on the Tusk Beadlock wheels. And with that being said, at that pressure, they only measure about 30 and a half. And the Razor is set up quite low right now. I still gotta dial in my Shock Therapy Spring Kit. It's uh, dipped down a little bit after I initially installed it after the break-in period. So I've only got about 13 inches of ground clearance in the rear and about 14 in the front. So I should be sitting at about 14 and a half all around. So I'm running a little lower than I should, but I just don't have time to fix that before next ride. So we'll just deal with it. We got the Super ATV skid plate on there, so we'll just use it. Um, anyways, it'll be a lot of fun. It's gonna be really awesome. We got the brand new transmission in the Razor. We got brand new rear axles. We got new tires. We got brand new shock therapy spring kit. The aftermarket assassins clutching is in on brand new primary and secondary clutches. We got the stage three tune, the full turbo back HMF exhaust, all the other super ATV goodies like the recently installed high clearance heavy duty rear trailing arms, the rear high clearance radius rods, the front chromoly high clearance forward facing A arms, and all those other goodies, a full Rhino, drive line we got the rhino prop shaft the rhino uh, or the super atv heavy duty billet hanger bearing this thing is bulletproof guys the front end is the weak link now the front dip has been making some noise for a little while especially since the new tranny went in i think there's a lot of slop in the front axles and the front diff and when it's in two-wheel drive sometimes it gives me a crunchy noise because it tries to engage itself um, we've got the um Sandcraft RCR full heavy duty internals with their uh, SKF bearings in there, but I feel the next thing that's gonna let go on this Razor is we're probably gonna grenade that front diff 
and it might happen this ride, I don't know, but I'm expecting a lot of wheel spin and I think I'm really gonna send it hard. Uh, I've, been, I've been promising to crank it up a notch, so maybe tomorrow we'll do that and we'll really push the Razor. Now that the training's fresh and all that, let's find the next weakest link. Um, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. Check out the other guys' Instagram accounts. If you, if you follow along on our social media, you'll see like Tim messages on there, Greg messages on there, a bunch of the other guys, Corny with the KRX, always responds to comments on there. So get engaged in the comment section, guys. Leave comments and also um, ask questions, all that stuff. Let us know what you like about the videos, what you wanna see. Let us know what your favorite machine is and all that stuff. I try to respond to as many of the comments as I can and also stay tuned to the end of the video because we're gonna have another awesome giveaway heading your way in this video. We're gonna be doing a ton of awesome giveaways in the next little while. But anyways, let me get this razor done. So we'll get the studs in from iGrip and then what we're gonna do is we'll pick up the ride tomorrow when we're loading up the trailer and heading to Greg's place. So enjoy the ride guys, and if you haven't checked out the previous comment, uh, content, make sure you do, and head on over to that Shopify store where you can get some sweet stickers. We got all sorts of neat stickers on the Shopify store. I'll post a picture of a bunch of them here. We got this cool My Other Ride series that I keep adding to. We got all sorts of popular machines like the Talon, we got the KRX, we got the Maverick Sport, we got all sorts of cool machines. We got some warning stickers, fall at your own risk, and a few other designs, so check those out. One of our best sellers, eat, sleep, ride, repeat. I mean, we'd all be doing this all day, every day if we could. So grab yourself some cool Team AJP swag, whether it's a t-shirt or some stickers that help support the channel. And if you wanna help support the channel in other ways, and also help support more future giveaways, then use our affiliate link for Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And every time you use that link and do some shopping, then we're gonna get a small kickback in commission to help fund future video projects. Anyways, let's get to the riding, but first, let's get those studs installed. Okay, so here we got the iGrip studs installing these. is as simple as it gets. If you know how to put a screw in, you know how to install these studs. So get yourself some studs. Every kit, every uh, set of studs comes with their tool. It's a double-sided tool. On one side, it's got a special bit to remove the studs. And on this side, it's got one to install them. So you just mount it in any drill, like that. Grab yourself a stud, and then you just screw this bad boy in. Plain and simple. As I mentioned before, these studs have already been used for quite a few rides last season. But they still look great. As you can see, here we have the stud that's brand new, and here we have the used stud. If you look at the actual tungsten carbide bit, there's like no wear to it. The tip has like a touch of rounding to it, but it's pretty much as it was. It bites as good as when it was new. They offer various stud designs, both spiked like this and flat. They offer studs for all sorts of heavy equipment, snowmobiles, ATVs, snowblowers. They even offer studs for your shoes and stuff like that, your snow boots. So check out their website at iGrip.com. You can find them on Facebook and on social media, like on Instagram as well. And um, they're available through various distributors. In Canada, you can get them through Royal Distributing as well, which has been one of our channel supporters for quite a few years. So check them out, do some reading. It's a wicked product. There's no real method to installing these. Just kind of space them out how you see fit. Try not to line all the studs up in a row. Try to stagger them so that they all bite a different surface on the ice or the terrain that you're riding on. Because if you line them all up, they're not going to be able to bite as well because they're going to be ripping in the same groove. So you want to space them out along the tire. And I mean, you can run as many as you want. So I usually go around and I do my first set, see how many studs I go through, and then I go and I add, and then I duplicate the pattern on the rest of the tires. But you can have fun, you can go at it. If you're ice racing or drifting around, you're gonna wanna mess with where you put them on the sides, how many you put in the middle, and it'll affect the handling characteristics as well as the grip of your machine. I'm gonna try and load these bad boys up because we're going trail riding. Hey guys, okay, 
So we're running a little behind. Razor's loaded up outside. We got all the gear loaded up, all the riding gear. Riding in the winter is a lot more work than in the summer because in the summertime you need a pair of shorts and a t-shirt and you're good to go. You need a lot more gear in the winter time. So let's get out there and we're gonna head to Greg's place or Colin's place. All right. Here we are. A lot of snow. It's pretty cold, but it's gonna warm up to about minus 10. So it shouldn't be too bad. Got the camera gear, gloves, razors, all ready to rock. Check out those eye grip studs. Oh yeah, set it up, baby. And the rears. I got more studs in the rear. Mostly because um, I didn't have enough studs to go full out on all the wheels. I got to get more studs. So uh, I ran more on the outside of the front wheels. So I got that, that grip when I'm moving the wheels side to side. And then I skipped every other set of lugs in the middle, basically. The rest is the same. So it should work good. Anyways, super excited to get out there. It's going to be a good winter ride. We got a good group of guys, just the core, about six, seven dudes and it should be a good ride. We're gonna send it. KRX is gonna be there, the R-Max is gonna be there. Greg's gonna be there in the Pro-R. And uh, yeah, me and, and the usuals, you'll see. Okay, we'll meet you there. We are here. Yeah, you gotta wash all the road off. Oh yeah, my truck just throws the salt I know, my like windshield's crazy. dirty too. Here for a little beating on the machines today. Yeah, hey, say hi, Sean. It's your first real ride. Yes, it is. Hi, everybody. Sean, uh, don't let his newish looking X3 fool you because he's already rolled it end over end a few times. Many times. <laughs> I think he's going to enjoy himself. It's going to be full send. You're going to love it out here, dude. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I've seen your videos. Looks like an awesome place. Buddy's got a great property. Yeah, man. We got the battle wagon all studded up with eye grips. You're going to see these bad boys work. Four seater R Max. Corny's KRX, Team Green. We got the General Lee with Tim. Tim! What's up? Greg? Oh, I brought you uh, some parts. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's still sitting low. It's sagged. It did its original settle. Yeah. So I got 14 inches in the front and 13 in the back right now. Yeah. I didn't have time last night to bump it up. Yep. So I'm going to bump it up about an inch and a half in the rear and about a half an inch in the front. And then she'll be like 14 and a half, which is what they say the sweet spot yeah. kind of is. Yeah. What a difference. Oh. <laughs> oh my, why did I wait? Yeah. Worth every penny. The ride quality. And I see now that, uh, is it, uh, where's it, Fox? now hired uh, yeah they're so um to, shock therapy's shock gonna be therapy, like, yeah. doing their r d and stuff right? yeah which like you gotta get it right maybe yeah. things so this is this is the dig rig power sports cvt um Holy exhaust crap, snorkel dude. and how it, much there's, like, this is just for one snorkel yeah there's two sets of these online on Holy their website crap. they have all the directions the hardest part is getting the elbow on this is gonna be the hardest part of the charge pipe this is just the belt exhaust yes Okay, but why and do you need the charge pipe? Because you can't fit the belt uh, adapter on without the charge pipe. There's a bit of flex in this. Your soft oh. one's hard. You won't. That's the part that goes on your. What about the audio? Like I have speakers back there. Back where? Uh, I think where this thing comes out. Is there instructions? No, somewhere? this comes out in the bed. Okay. Not inside. It'll work. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome, man. Thanks. Don't thank me. Who do I thank for this? Thank Dig Rig Power Sports, man. Man. They wanted to show them off. They watched the videos. And um, they sent me a kit, um, but for mine, it's just the elbow. They don't make a full kit, but for the Pro XP, they make like this full, it's called like their stealth riser or something like yeah. that. It's, um, you can hardly, you can see it on mine. No, You're, it looks well. Uh, it's the best one out yeah, there. Yeah, it looks like some quality products. It's, it's the here. only one that doesn't affect the, the airflow out of the CVT. Okay. Cause it's not gonna boost your tranny, t your CVT temp. See, it comes yep. out here. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it would come out. No, no, it here comes out right are... here okay. and it's out of the way. Nice. And it's such an easy install. Like, look at it. Yours oh, is okay. going to be basically the same. And yours also in the bottom, there's a bunch of vent tubes. And there's some T clamps for um, 
for the, the hoses. I reuse my stock ones. Okay. You can probably reuse your stock ones or what you want, but it's yeah. a nice kit. This though, um, it's not gonna seal up great. So what you're gonna need to do is get a, get a tube like of gas RTV, maker? the black stuff, the yeah. RTV silicone, and just cake it. Nice. And oh, it's, yeah, awesome. you're gonna I'd like it. I'd say that's the only weak spot I found in uh, water crossings is my belt exhaust. When you're Mine idling. Was the same. Yeah, it's. Think back to the videos of last year in the winter. You know, there was a few of us that we'd get in the water, we were making good progress, the wake hits you, and then you stop. Yeah. And you're just spinning well, belt and then you're screwed. Nobody wants to get a wet ass, right? Everybody yeah. wants to slow yeah. down. And But yeah, this definitely, because uh, it's weird. Like all your intakes for your belt and your engine, you're up at the four foot high mark. And then mark, they do the seat. And the CVT is down like at two foot. So. Why doesn't it come with something like this, like oh, from the factory, yeah, like yeah. easy, right? Well, then we wouldn't have to buy all this extra stuff. Well, right? this is a nice kit. You'll like yeah, it. No, it's yeah, awesome. it's easy install. Great. Thanks, guys. You ready to rip, man? Yeah. It's, it's going to be good. All right, guys. We are ready to hit the trail. The RX is warming up. Woo! What's up, Adrenaline Junkie Nation? It's riding day. Finally, Woo! our first real winter ride. I know. There's so much snow out there. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, I can't wait. We've been waiting for this. Yes, we the don't KRX get a whole lot of gonna, snow here in southwestern Ontario. The KRX is gonna upset the competition again? <laughs> I hope so. Team Green, look at that. Woo! Woo fancy new light bar purple. Are you trying to tell us something? Hey, it's ch it's changing all kinds of colors. Oh, you don't discriminate. I can see it on my dash. Now it's yellow. Oh, cool, yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty cool slick unit. Nice. I like it. It's pretty easy to install. Yeah. Like, all the wiring was done for me. I just. Plug it in. Plugged it in my bus bar and good to go. Nice. You ready to rock, man? Oh, we're ready we're, to rock. We're taking your cherry. Definitely. Woo! Definitely. What's going Sorry, on? We're late. How's it going? Hey. Ready, man? Yeah, man, we're ready. Oh, you're always ready. Timmy, you ready to upset the competition? Absolutely. The said he's taking you out. <laughs> Probably. I didn't stud my tires yet. So. You've proven to the world that <laughs> tires aren't important when you have a heavy foot. <laughs> More throttle. Yeah, pin it to win it. Oh yeah. We got like the mountain goat here. You guys yeah. ready to rock? Oh yeah, we're ready. It's we're... been a while since we've seen the white stuff. Oh yeah, I know. I love riding in this. My favorite time of year. Me too. I wish we could get out more. Oh yeah. All right, sweet. So let's rock and roll. It's gonna be a wicked ride. We got a good group, good mix of machines, and perfect weather. You ready to ride? Yeah. Look at your nice new Pro Max mono suit from Royal Distributing. I got one too. We can't match because the red doesn't come in her size and the pink doesn't come in mine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're ready to rock. The racer's ready, and uh, the crew is ready. We got a good crew today, don't we? Yep. It's always a good time out on the trails. Got the knock around glasses, the official sunglass supporter of Team HAP here. Got about four PSI in the front tires, three or four, and about four or five in the rears with the studs. So um, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how she does. Embarrassing as well, Tim. I, I put it in four wheel drive, it wasn't in, and I just sank myself. It has to happen, so right, you jump in. I'll uh, where do you want to go? Tree over here, doesn't matter. 
I wasn't in four wheel drive, I thought I was engaged. Yeah, that's the oh. other one. <laughs> Good place to leave those. I repeated that. Did you see? You know, we had, we had this talk. Never leave stuff outside the vehicle, always inside. I put it at UC and put it in the I didn't see it. In the right way. It's okay. okay. They're only a dollar forty-nine each. No harm done. Buddy! Can you get by him? Can you get by me? Pull me backwards, I can just take a run at it. Hold on, you want to pull me backwards? Sometimes Tim just makes it so easy for us to bust his chops. We haven't even gotten onto the trail and this guy's stuck already. Winter riding can be especially interesting though because you never know what to expect out of an obstacle. It's an easy fix though, we'll just give him a tug and we'll be back up on our way. Thanks for tuning into the video, this is going to be an eventful ride, I hope you guys enjoy it. One sector of the car coming. Report. They're holding traffic for us. Well, obviously this video was shot a few months ago since it's snowy and now it's the middle of June and hot. So if it's hot where you are, I hope this ride can help chill you out. Protest! <laughs> We're having a protest! This road is closed! Yeah, I don't know what the protest is about, but we're having one. Keep slow. Okay, so now we're successfully on the trail, so let's get this ride started. As a lot of you guys know, it takes me a few months to process through these videos. Editing this long content takes quite a while. Goddamn Arctic camp. that's thinking about getting the shock therapy spring kit for your machine. I know it's super expensive. I paid full price for it. I'll tell you, it's worth it. The 
still definitely affects film quality a little bit, but it's something we have to bear with because rotting without it in these conditions sucks. Uh, so you'll get a bit of glare here and there, but I mean, hey, that's just the nature of the beast. That's uh, the conditions we're filming and it's, it's not an easy environment to work in. Make sure you leave a thumbs up for the video if you enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and chime in on the conversation. Let us know, do you like riding in the winter? Where do you ride? Do you get to ride in the snow? It's gonna be a nice day. It is. It's, it's a cold. beautiful day. Like it, that sun is really warm. Yeah, yeah. It's like minus seven or so, but Celsius. I don't You're know. You're so hot. You needed a cold drink. Yeah. What a beauty out here through some of the the areas. Look at all the snow on the trees. I know. It's great. Hey Tim. Are we stopping? I think they're gonna keep cruising in a sec. Okay. Tell us about your machine. It what runs year? on unicorn piss. It runs on unicorn piss? And children's tears. Cool, that sounds more expensive than current gas prices. Yeah, yeah it is. Got to make a lot of people cry. Yeah, it's built to hurt feelings, right? <laughs> what year is it? 2018, Wildcat 700 Sport. With a fully Timmy design frame because you snapped it last ride. You, you drove home on one out of four mainframe supports. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So we replaced the whole bottom. We well, added a quarter inch thick steel uh, wear plate. We bought the custom shaved tires. Yeah. Did you get those from Jason? Uh, actually, you're on loaner. Yeah, look at the paddles on the back. Those are the original tires. So I almost got 9,000 kilometers on those uh, Blackwater Evolutions. Holy cow. And then the rears are the executioners. Yeah. They're doing okay. Yeah. You got to get some new tires. Well, that is happening in the spring. Good. Maybe we can get you hooked up. I think he does pretty good with the tires that he has. Yeah, the lack of yeah. It's like Jason, yeah. you watch that yeah. guy go out oh. with no tire at all and he still makes it through half the stuff. And if he doesn't make Upside it through- Upside down. Hey, <laughs> hey. He said he's putting new tires on today. He, I, he, I, he sent me a picture with what looked to be new tires on. Really? Yeah. Because he was trying to buy mine two days ago, still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should have sold, sold them to him for whatever that dealership quoted you <laughs> That's a buddy price. <laughs> we well, they're mention, tested. You know we won't they mention the name of the dealership. But. Yeah, don't talk about it's like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> it's officially in the <laughs> looks now. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Welcome to the team. Hey, just keep it real, keep it competitive, yeah. right? Hey, you know what? Yeah, when uh, we spend a lot of money on parts and we got to keep these things going, you got to save money when you can. Yeah. Yeah, saving money still means spending a lot of money. It, like when you go into the dealership yeah. and you go, hey, I just need a spare belt. And they're like, oh, that'll be two hundred thirty dollars. You're like, wait, for our your belt's machine? So freaking expensive. Two, yeah. That's that's ludicrous because yes, a, a belt for my razor costs less. And I, I'm scared to do anything other than OEM because. It's I haven't even made around the block with the, an aftermarket. It really? depends. Aftermarket belts are so sketchy. I, I've had I've had some like in the Razor Turbo world. It's, it's tough too. It's basically run OEM or run a G Boost series belt from like one of the aftermarket companies. But the belt's got to be made by G Boost in Japan. They're like they make better than OEM arguably. So like Evo sells them. Um, aftermarket Assassin sells them. They're all like they're house branded belts, but they're made by G Boost which is like a massive belt manufacturer in Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. It's not like a China belt. And then the OEM ones. Is there a Gates ones. number on it? Is there a Gates number on that? Yeah. Uh, Gates belts aren't bad on the slow, on the lower horsepower machines, I find. Um, on mine, the problem with the Gates belts is like they, they say they don't, when they break, they break into a million pieces, but they don't wrap around your clutches. But the problem with them seems to be that they break easier. They break easier. Yeah. But yeah, they're not I destroying everything. No, they're not they're blowing not your case, right? They're not destroying everything. Yeah, but, but um, on these machines, like the smaller yeah. four machines, Lighter. I think they're fine. Yeah. yeah, you can say it. Yeah, I only got 67 horsepower. Is that all this has? It's yeah. all it needs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he uses 68 of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're using 67.9. Every... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what? You, what they say is like you never pay for the first 90 percent of the performance. You pay for the last 10. <laughs> right? Yeah. 
We're all using 67 of our horsepower. Yeah. Not as effectively as you, though. Except my pedal's closer to the floor. That's pretty <laughs> I think there's a divot in your floor. <laughs> pretty much. <Yeah. laughs> That's the thing, though. It doesn't all come down to power and machine no. size. It comes down to how you how you use it and how big your slow is better sometimes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You yeah. Unless be... you're coming in the front entrance there and you didn't realize how deep how the snow deep was. it was. Yeah. Well, that wasn't depth. That was the road had frozen yeah. over a bit. And, and I, I was in two dodged. and I switched to four, but it wasn't. It was in you're yet. already buried. And I just went. Uh, yeah. Ah. That yeah. was that was that whole embarrassing put your <laughs> right tail between at, your right legs. Right at the beginning. You know, oh, you're stuck out of the way. You're good for the day now. Yeah. Hopefully. You know what though? With these smaller machines you can ride it balls out because it doesn't have the power to tear itself apart. <laughs> you get into the turbo machines, <laughs> yeah. and that's when you're like... Well, then you think you're a king. You you're the sheer power. pin. Yeah, right? yeah I've, I've, I've felt it. I have more fun taking out my 50-inch my razor, the trail. Well, you never have to worry about it breaking. No, it's never broken, and yeah. we've kicked the out of that thing, and it goes anywhere. Like, you put you, you make a trail through these little trees here, right? Yeah. Where this thing, it's just... Well, that's where like we find like the 900 and the 1000S models are like that happy medium of like size, power, and reliability. Not enough power to tear themselves apart, but more than enough power to get, to get through yeah. everything, right? Yeah. Well, I had more fun on my uh, my uh, Snow Pro 440 liquid. So I, I had way more fun on that thing than I ever did on my 1000 Skidoo. It well, you need a different type of terrain to enjoy that 1000 Skidoo, right? Yeah. What a lake. Yeah, 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 yeah that gets old real fast going yeah. in a straight line. Yeah. Freezing your ass off. Yeah. What am we saying? What's that for? Ditch bombing on a 440 is just a ride. Yeah. Everything, everything's everything's an obstacle. I think I had a 99 MX. This Venice, episode yeah. is brought and to you by Nevea. Keep your lips soft even on the trail. Yeah, yeah. Approved by all Can Am riders. Hey boys. Did she top out at 142 <laughs> around there? You're not gonna kill yourself. disclaimer to the Can-Am riders out there, don't get your panties in a bunch, I was just joking. Polaris guys like to keep their lips soft too. He's putting his window, his side windows down, because they're so damn annoying. I think the side windows are only good for like higher speed stuff, when you, or when it's really cold. stuck in the kitty cat. I guess it's not just water they don't like. Yeah. Uh, frozen water don't work either. Yeah, it's actually like the water's still not frozen yeah. because of the snow. The snow's insulating it. Yeah. That gets dangerous sometimes. It's hey, not... Jim! I didn't know we were riding with rookies. <laughs> you, you know what his excuse was? I, I didn't hit the gas hard enough. Since when is that a problem with Tim? Yeah. Hey! So, so what's this next trail? So the next trail we've been building over the last little while it's gonna eliminate a whole concession worth of road travel. Okay. And it's called overflow. Do I wanna know why? Yes. You might not wanna know why in the spring. <laughs> but right now it's got, because it's basically a huge backup pond yep. that they use for irrigating. And they put this huge, I don't know, it's about 40 feet long of 
giant rocks and we're gonna camber through the rocks through the ditch and then up in the trail and then there's some nice decent hills for the snow we have so nice nice we'll i uh see. i um i hooked my rear sway bar up <laughs> the difference between not having that rear sway bar hooked up is insane so, okay so we're, we're gonna have to stop because the hills people are gonna have problems with one or two that's why we're here <laughs> so there's gonna be an off camp we're gonna go to you're gonna see a tree there's actually a log laying down a foot foot and a half outside of that you can't see people usually hit it the last time we took people and it through. bumps you over it's just it's a big log just try to go a little further than you think don't look at just the tree oh so go further out go yeah. further out than just the, the tree because there's something okay. under the snow okay. that you're gonna hit okay yeah, i took my rear sway bar off too yeah i love it me too but it's, there's yeah, a few there's a pros and cons comfort of the ride yeah is it doesn't buck you around so much yeah the, okay you know, the trees and stuff. are the rookies ready back there yeah. Rookie, ready to go! <laughs> yeah, whatever, Rooster. Look at yeah. that thing, he's got a cock on his helmet. Hey, it's my buddy's bearded rooster hot sauce. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. You got a good alibi. Yeah, I love hot sauce. Yeah, I know you love your buddy's rooster. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of the trails are so tight, they'll be better. Oh, yeah. nice, right? oh. The can yeah. It's easiest to hook up the tow strap when he's around here. Like. <laughs> hey, where's no, where's Tanner? That's what makes me legal to yeah. drive through Bradford. Oh, hey. I thought that's what the emergency light was for. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, no. Am, watch out, guys! There's a Can Am coming. <laughs> hey, hey, I got a picture with him with one on there the other night. It's so the Can Am could see me. Oh. Isn't it supposed to be like a blue light for I need to be towed? Isn't that what it is? Oh uh, <laughs> man. Yeah. Oh, all right. You notice who has the red light sex district, right? <laughs> oh, shit. Well, you don't want to see mine all lit up. I'm open for business, just like okay. Ontario. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> like the Tim Hortons, right? When you're putting it out there? Yeah. I know there's the first hill. That might give us the most trouble. If we don't have problems there, the rest of the... All right, let's stop there. So we'll get some good shots. Stick back at the back and... <laughs> the can hey, will pull you up. You know up. what? Let's let's just let the hill do the talk. Let's do it. <laughs> hey, anybody want to put some money on it? <laughs> Dude, we all drive Polaris. Hill. We ain't got no money. The bounty. <laughs> so we're gonna come in off the road. We're gonna go in, probably like one or two hundred feet, and then we're gonna turn left over the rocks. Okay. It's, it's downhill but people might have problems. Yeah, who's gonna fail on the next obstacle? I like your, you're usually pretty good with the predictions. No, no, no. Oh, now Tim, she's- Tim won't make the next hill. No? Okay. Like it's, it's, I don't have enough of a run, I think, and his tires aren't good. It's just Tim's tires, I think. And he's low. One. And no, there's no grip on those front tires, yeah. The next one, like, I don't know how much snow's filling, like, I'm, dude, I'm talking 24 by 24 boulders. There's some ugly stuff in there. Well, your skid plate's gonna be hitting. Let's get her done. Yeah. Oh, you left me hanging. freezing temperatures with a full windshield and no cabin heater or defrost is like an art form within itself. Uh, it can be a real pain in the butt when that window decides to fog up or freeze up.
this is a nice technical bouldered section. KRX is going to make easy work of it. I had to ride with the R-Max last time I was through here. Oh, gross. <laughs> We need like nine of them to keep up with your Can-Am. There's, there's a good mixture of machines here though. There is, there is. It shows what, you know, kind of the capabilities of each machine. Makes it a lot more fun. Yeah. Yeah. There would just be a bunch of dicks running around if we were driving Polaris. when you go past. You gotta give props to Camera Grill Ksenia because she puts in the effort. She gets a good workout trying to get up and down all these obstacles. What's going on? A little 
Big camera. Hold on, don't go up yet. I know, I know. That's, That's sketchy. <laughs> The hill wants to throw you that way. That's why. It's pretty hard. We're just hanging around. <laughs> well, you're lucky though. Now it's gonna get hard. This hasn't been touched yet. Should be okay, but you really gotta hook to your uh, right. like usual. This is a throttle hill. Yeah. You should move a little bit, I think. Well, depends if people are going to make it though, right? Uh, We're just using him as a tow place for now. Okay. Yeah. If, if he makes it Woman, up, shut up. <laughs> well. Woman, quiet. No, it's okay. Yeah, just stay to this side, Dan. You got it. Give her! Oh, That's look at where that. the trail's supposed to be! <laughs> huh? Wildcat, Timmy. This is the machine I'm a little worried about with his tires. I bet he's gonna make it. Well, I don't know. Oh man, he's got it's, some momentum there now. It's Timmy. this preschool and they probably shouldn't have and that won't lock in you guys shouldn't have touched the freewheel
Does RS stand for rock and snow? <laughs> in a tail light. right now. Oh, you saved her buddy. Yeah. I think if I pull it, we can maybe push you off that tree. We'll see. Yeah, put it in a two wheel drive and get them to push. For every person that goes up, it just gets a bit harder. Yep. Hold on, don't overdo your shoulder, Dan. That didn't sound good. Oh. oh, it's not a good ride. It's not officially a ride until a can am is leaving. Oh, it's done now. Keep going. Oh, it's done now. Keep going. Turn right. Turn right. Yeah. Oh, just the rivets. So what happened? He ended up doing a 360. He started sliding back and it's on the front end. Right so close but I needed more run this is a new machine but it's been through the ringer you don't see that tree right where where it's really standing yeah it, it was gone you can back yeah. right up this thing slicker is shot now with everybody going up it yeah he's got to stay as far right as he can watch out guys He's nice and low. If you get sideways, it's this easy is to going to be a good video. Yeah, well, when they get upside down, they are a pain in the ass to get right side up. Okay, watch out, guys. <laughs> be careful up there. <laughs> We've got a strap, right? Oh, he's putting his seatbelt yeah. on. Julian has one too. We could maybe have it just set up. Okay. Well, we'll see where he gets. He's got a winch, right? Yes, he does. Yeah. No way. No, we're gonna have to pull them up. Just tell them to stay there, we'll pull them up. Now's the perfect time for your uh Let's see if the suds help. For your studs, this is the ideal condition for it. That's yeah. literally what they're been shined for. up, right? Yeah, so it's I think yeah. super like, really she's uh glazed over and ice. Yeah, yeah. So Colin and Tyler were in here a week ago and they couldn't make it. They had to winch up. It was just too up this. Weak. Yeah. So we did quite well. It's like that typical snow riding. One or two people get it and then the third person's like roulette and then after that it's game over. It yeah. just shines up from all the wheels spinning on it. This is one of those times of season where there's nothing better than going first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how bad it is, it's yeah. not going to get better. First is always the best. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. It's got almost the same tire I do. And this, I think, is one of the worst hills. Like, it doesn't give you much of a run. There's a bigger yeah. hill in here, but you get more of a run. Summertime, you, you spin too much. But, I mean, that's why I said the summertime, this is nothing. But right yeah, you now, you can really crawl up this in two wheel drive, probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Corny, nice helmet, buddy. Thanks, Look man. Oh, yeah. Get the her model. Up. Yeah. <laughs> I got one just like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Julian is the last. Yeah, he's got studs. He's going to do okay. Oh, hold it, hold it. Yeah, Four guys. Train. Don't live well. Oh, this is teamwork. Grab him, grab him. Stabbing me. 
Hey, pull, pull ahead a little bit. <laughs> Just let him go ahead a little bit. I think I should be that way. Sorry. Oh, the R Max is on recovery mode. Well, we told one machine to stay behind just because we knew there'd be some towing involved. Oh, it's still free wheel. Whoa! Whoa! Free wheel! Yeah. Good, good, good. Oh, free wheel. We know. We know. That was the plan. That was the plan. Oh, okay. Don't yell at me, Tim. <laughs> Sean! 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 I was told to tell you to shut up. I was told to tell you to shut up. <laughs> Woo! Are you gonna winch? Or do you want him to pull? What? No, it's not gonna pull. No, you're gonna try it. Go, Tony, go, 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 go. Max just pulling them right up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Man, that R Max works really good. They're good machines. <laughs> yeah. It's cool to see the four seater out. I see too many movies. <laughs> yeah. Final destination. And it's probably one of the best four seaters. It really yeah, and is. Yeah, it's not too big. No, I that's think the cool that, thing about that's it. That's the cool thing about yeah. it because it still has that performance. Still driving no. in a grid. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> 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 it's not steep. No. 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 I could take my three wheeler up there and reverse. Yeah. With one tire missing. That's right. One hand behind your you back. Go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. If I could get up there. I mean, this wouldn't be bad in the summer. Oh yeah, no, it's fine in the summer. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, Rob, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful day. Oh, I know, hey, I'm almost getting hot now. Oh yeah, she's glazed good. <laughs> so many mom jokes. <laughs> what? Damn. All right, let's see what the battle wagon can do with studs in. I grip studs. I, I bet he's gonna make it up for a I bet you too. Oh yeah. He's gonna go full send. If he does it, we're sending a stern email to I grip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's flashy, yep. <laughs> yeah, it's blinking. <laughs> Just because I've done that before, Ksenia, don't yell at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Yeah. Courtney, you need to go behind the tree. <laughs> Why? I don't know what he's doing. I'm going to sit right here. You're going to oh, sit yeah. right there. That's yeah. They're, they're saying I got to go full send. This is going to be a perfect test for the studs. Perfect stud test. Let's do it. We'll do her in four alone. Here he comes.
Hey guys, I, uh, I'm taking orders on studs. <laughs> Did not the red Polaris is do the best coming up that hill? It's red. It's, it's the red, red it's Polaris. The red. Uh, trail side discount for studs. <laughs> Come, uh, I'm selling them out of the back of my razor. All right, let's do it, man. Where's the white van? Did it make it look easy or what? It was. Oh, yeah. it, it flew right up there. Yeah. That's it's not cheating. really any fun. But you it's did follow the other no, it's not. I'm watching you, it. <laughs> we got to load some studs in your new tire. Just costing money. Do they come out no problem? They don't even damage the tire. Really? Yeah. Do they leave like a little like... pinhole? That's yeah. it. Quarter inch or how far do they go in? Uh, yeah, about so, just over a quarter inch. Yeah. You can get different models depending on how much uh, tread depth you got, right? Yeah. Studs or <laughs> yeah. his wife? How far oh, just the tip. In? Just the tip. Just the tip. Just the tip. <laughs> yeah. What? So many mom jokes. I'm just saying. I just put the tip in. <laughs> just the tip. Just the tip. Somebody gets picked at the beginning to be made fun of. Let me get the camera. <laughs> right in the rut. I hope I got all those little logs out of there. Oh, that felt great. <laughs> Get me. I'm going down too. Hey. <laughs> that worked well. Is the event on? There's like a rock there. Yeah, I think it's a stump. During this temperature, that's a rock. <laughs> Watch out, there's a sump there. Don't work too good. No, they're frozen. <laughs>
guys. Hey, nice to see you. What's up, buddy? Am I the last one up there now? Yeah. Okay. You want me to film you? I'm gonna just mount it to the tree. Okay. the snow in the winter time it almost feels like you're on a different planet sometimes the trails evolve uh, terrain that's usually pretty easy becomes almost unpassable it's really a completely different off-roading experience and these vehicles are designed to handle any type of terrain or weather or conditions so it's a lot of fun seeing what they're capable of in the snow another huge benefit to snow riding is as long as you got a nice warm place to park it's super easy to clean oh he's going I'm just for him. Yeah, yeah, he wants to go first. There he knows go. it's easier. <laughs> that looks like the way. Oh, I'm going up backwards. Backwards? Oh, no, no, I'm just joking. Okay. You'll be lucky to make it up frontwards. <laughs> <laughs> Or the best to go up always yeah there's actually it's a little tacky once you blaze it you're screwed once that first Whoever tire spins me, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right <laughs> this one's not as steep getting that run like that because this hill is three times as bad as the last one but look at how much run you get mm -hmm. I'm running four. Oh, oh. watch out he might jump right into you <laughs> I think the grip is decreasing. Hey, that's that's the hill oh, glaze yeah, right. machine right oh. there. I'll move ahead for you. You're good. He's good. He's good. Oh, you're, you're good. I got it. Got it. Got it. I'm going to watch. Hey, man, just hit it in reverse. You want me to turn around? Do it sideways. Sideways. <laughs> 900. You should have gone sideways. <laughs> and the hill just died. Oh yeah. It's gonna get fun. My wife won't come out. Neither will mine. Yeah. But well, she's rolled all the time. They all try to get some good try not to spin this too much up because we all need to get some traction. Hey, quit thinking about yourself. <laughs> you got it, man. I'm 
you always think about it yeah. yeah. They all used to come out, and then I rolled it, just like, just doing two kilometers an hour with my eight-year-old, and then he got terrified, thought I was going to kill him. <laughs> and, which, and then my wife, she just thought I was nuts. So close, man. It's getting bad in that spot. There's a little bump there. Try that in high. You get more speed down here. Oh yeah, definitely. Was he in low? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hit her in high. I hit mine in high. You gotta yeah. get that. Yeah, right I did mine in high. Yeah. Hey, Julian. Hey, man, I'll watch anything. <laughs> <laughs> if you get a little more momentum here, you can coast. Yes. A more up there. Yeah, high's the gear here to go. do it. Third in. attempt, high gear. You gotta drive up high, or you gotta put it in high. We're good. The momentum of high. The wildcat. Let's see what's up. <laughs> I mean, he's got no tires. And he's so light. That's, those machines work good though. They do. Oh, I got one. Do you? you learn a few things when you're riding this yeah, guy just not on the year. High clearance air, yeah. two inch lift. So it works. It works. works. That's a nice oh, looking man. machine. Oh man. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> well man, he's <laughs> taking <laughs> everything. <laughs> as much run as he can get. Yeah, over the years. Oh yeah. For people that don't ride snow. Oh man. It's a completely different mindset. You have to basically throw the puck and hope it slides over. Momentum yep. and planning. Yes. <laughs> oh, the mirror! I thought he was almost gonna make it. Yeah. Hey, this is the perfect spot for the Kawasaki to hurt feelings again. I hey. think it will. Woo! Team Green. Yeah, you should put the light bar on the green mode. Will do, Team Green. Extra grip. <laughs> That was a good hit in the tree. It contacted with pure mirror. My mirror flying. Oh, he left his mark. He left his mark. Hey, sweet cheeks, you want to ride? Woo! She jumped in with me. I don't think she knows what she's in for. Dude, it's all the machine. Yeah, it's not me. She don't trust you. She trusts the Cowie. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's, uh, he left this behind. I'm gonna... No. <laughs> I got a brand new replacement sitting at home. I already replaced that one. No, I'm not gonna be able to fix this one right now. <laughs> That's a mean looking green machine. Mean and green. This thing just works so well. I don't care about all you haters out there. Brand bias aside, the KRX is a wicked, wicked machine on this type of ravine, technical trail riding. Underpowered my ass. It's gonna crawl, it's gonna go up this. I feel it's gonna make it up. I shouldn't have talked you up so much. I know. I don't know what. That really pulled to the right for me. I was in diff lock. Maybe I don't need any of that. I know. The nice part about him is he's so really heavy. Once he gets right that right momentum moving, he usually goes lock. through a lot of shots. Don't be pulling a fish now. Yeah. <laughs>
We don't need the KRX driving up any trees. I'll try to reach out and grab you. I see the tree. I'm like, no, if I pin it against there, I'll be okay and I won't go all the way back. Hey, Tim, you left your mark. Good? Told ya. The cowie's just got a way of laying the power down to the ground. It just hooks up. It works real well. Julian's got lost. Low gear, crawl up. Yeah, okay. Until it breaks up. I'll try. What? That was weird. I had dip lock yeah, on and it just pulled me right. Okay. How are you going to get back up? We're going to winch her up. Okay. <laughs> well, you should have went down the tire marks. Why is she going down? <laughs> she wants to ride. Oh, oh, get the camera. <laughs> it's on, I think. Did you see where I was? Huh? Right here. What are you thinking of that one, Sean? That was pretty good. Yeah? Oh yeah, made it up no problem that time. It's a little bit more throttle. Yeah. 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 That was weird. I I tried going up in diff lock and it pulled me right to really? the Really? See, I had mine in diff lock that time. The, the first hill that I did before, I didn't put it in diff lock. You have oh. diff lock on your k &M? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you got the true locker? Yeah. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Nope. Right on, that's cool. I had the diff lock on and didn't do it. Wasn't too. quite enough there. No. I had enough power, enough, enough Mo spin there. I too. got enough momentum. Yeah. I lost I took, it right here. I took it out of diff lock and I climbed up there. Really, no eh? Problem. Yeah, see where I put it mine yeah, in diff lock. And it just pulled me right when I had it. I bet you if we all had studs, we'd be up this hill, no problem. Oh, easily, yeah. You watch him, he'll but crawl. But how fun is that? I he'll know. crawl, but. Yeah, I'm out here he's with cheat, He's videos. cheating, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh We're, yeah, that was close. <laughs> You're gonna roll this one oh, if you go down sideways. Like, oh, please yeah. go down straight. Please go down straight. Please. Yeah, Dan held it pretty good. He did a good job. Well, they want me to try and uh, see how far I can crawl up it with the studs before I send it. So let's give it a shot. Yes. We'll do them. Yeah. 
Oh, dude, we could do some. You should go to race with me. Yeah. I don't know how they fare on the rocks. Fine. Here. Shooting out like bullets. Come on. Die hard. Sure. Long. Thanks, man. Long machines. Do um, really steep hills. Yeah. But like turning and awkward stuff. Big machines don't make like it. Why don't you shoot a game without yeah, the buddy. studs? Because then you'd be feeling what we're feeling. I know what you're Come feeling, on, which is why I spent stay up till midnight putting my studs in. I think if I had another set of tires, I would get those. You can take them out. But I mean, I don't want to put them in my only set of tires. You've got what? Five, six sets of tires? But I just, I, you can road ride with them. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Just take his tires. They, they fit, same bull pattern. The Polaris? Yeah. Oh. In that case, my tires are almost like a dirt commander. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's. Can we drive through the creek? No, we don't. We don't. We're always on this side. Are we but, able to? Uh, we That'd be a wicked video down. with the snow riding through the creek. Oh, you want to do a creek crossing? Well, I tried to. The creek. I tried to stay out of the creek for this trail because I don't creek know. bed erosion. Well, you know. What a beauty view. Oh, some of those pictures going through the Oh, man. So nice. The only thing that would make it better is if it was snowing. Yeah. yeah. He wanted to make a trail right here. Would you like to come? That is pretty sick. But it is. Like, this is why we had to go up this hill because I couldn't get around this. I don't know. about rolling to my death. <laughs> wait a second. Where did you want to make it? Right here. Oh, that's I was going to make it here. But, oh, here, but you made there. But in these conditions, I'm like, well, people. Hell no. No, that's what fine, I thought. So then I went around. and But there's some logs in here, which makes it weird. Like, we tried to oh, drive Oh, I see up the here. logs over there. Right in here, there's some logs, too. don't make it you die in the creek kind of hill what the heck <laughs> bye bye
slipping. There's a long hole. And there's quite a bit of an angle. This is the widest machine, 72 inches. Giveaway alert! We will be giving away a set of four foot LED whips from Adrenaline Off-Road Outfitters in this video. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see how you can enter. They are the same whips I've been running all season and they work great. In regards to these giveaways, I put a lot of time and effort trying to get these set up, especially with the bigger ticket items. The last giveaway was a huge one. It was for a full set of Fintrail gear with free shipping. And the individual who won that never claimed their prize. Uh, we announced it on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. Fintrail also shared it. We posted multiple times, waited past the original agreed upon date to give these people a chance to claim their prize and they never did. So if you enter the giveaways, please make sure that you follow up and see who the winner is because I mean, I would be so bummed if I found out later that I had missed the prize like that. to cut that anyway. Yeah, that was about to rip your hole. Oops, sorry. It'd be nice to cut it. Oh, that, yeah, this yeah. came right out under, under. It's gonna. Was that cut like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do we need to get the saw out. Yeah, just He's got one. Sean's got one. Oh, he's got the battery. He's got the Milwaukee. Yeah, they don't have to fire up the gas. Yeah. Nice and stealthy. Yeah. Those gas, those uh, electric ones are sweet. Yeah. Hey, check out my light bar. That's looking good over here. Man. Yeah, it's starting to look Gee nice. Ring. Isn't that saw amazing? It is. Yeah, it good job. Oh. <laughs>
car, I think, after him. Oh, X3. Yeah, Sean. In the X3? Oh, yeah. Dan's the last guy in the road. Oh, now. Dan's in there? Okay. We're lucky to have a large variety of machines in our crew, which makes all the videos entertaining. You can see the different platforms hitting various obstacles in various weather conditions throughout the videos. quite lucky to have access to all this private property and all these trails to ride on. Um, Greg's a farmer, he has a lot of land and he also knows a lot of the other landowners in the area so he always has a big role in setting up these trails. He plots a lot of these trails, maintains them, cuts them with the guys. Um, so I mean that's what gives us the ability to really enjoy these machines. I know a lot of viewers enjoy seeing the various platforms compete against each other because it shows them what kind of machine is best suited to their needs. I know a lot of people watch these videos trying to figure out which machine to get next or which machine to buy if it's their first one. So it makes me happy to be able to help people decide which machine is best for them through these videos. before and I'll keep saying it. Um, all of us, we, we love the outdoors. The last thing we want to do is damage anything. Um, we all are advocates of responsible four-wheeling. Um, we're allowed to be on all these trails here. Once in a while you get people chiming in saying that, you know, it's people like us that are, are wrecking terrain. No, it's not. We're, we're building trails. We're sticking to these trails. Um, we've been riding them for years. Um, we're out here enjoying the, the, the nature, the outdoors. We're not out here to wreck anything. You just put them in on the dash on the heater. Oh, you got a heater? Yeah, I have an actual heater. Uh, that's, 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 that's why I ride You like installed this. an actual yeah, heater core. Yeah, it's plumbed in. Nice. The Frost. The Polaris one? Correct. It's a Polaris one, yeah. Does it work awesome? Yeah. Yeah. Good.
<laughs> I hit a stump the other day. Uh, that'll you know? do it. You gonna make it? Making it on the channel now. <laughs> What's going on, yeah. <laughs> He's having fun. I'm trying to push him. Hey, I'm trying to push ya. Days. Yeah. Really Ripping out here in like three wheel, like 125 three wheelers. Yeah. yeah. Or I was like a Yamaha Warrior 350. Yeah. Oh, it's just. But you know what? You could go out on a hill like this all day. Yeah. And spend just play five hours in a tank of fuel in like one spot. Yeah. And have a blast. <laughs> you would do that in the side by side. Like you need so much terrain. Yeah. But yeah, yeah different times. Yeah. Different struggles. Yeah. Different struggles. Different type <laughs> of fun. It is. Yeah. I'm gonna hide the beer, make it look like we're respectable adults. Yeah, right. <laughs> I got it on video. Everyone knows it's a lie. <laughs> Work it. Work it, baby. Oh, yeah. Aww. So good. Ooh. <laughs> bump. Ooh, yeah. Bump. Woo! Damn, I missed it. I just missed it. Hey, hey, let's keep this PG, okay? <laughs> Sorry. Good ride. some of those guys on their ATVs having fun even on the two-wheel drive race style quads and it's like we always say it doesn't matter what you're riding at the end of the day as long as you're out having a good time that's all that matters it doesn't matter what your budget is if you're out wheeling you're wheeling out riding it's better than a day not out riding and the fun you have on certain terrain can be a lot better on a smaller, even older machine sometimes than in a big, beefy, newer, high budget machine. You can have a lot of fun on a pretty basic trail with an older, smaller machine. Whereas in a bigger ATV or side-by-side, -side, it's not really that fun. The fun is often tied into the challenge aspect of the ride. When you know you're gonna make it through something every time, it's not always as thrilling. In a smaller machine, pretty basic terrain can be challenging. And then in a bigger one, that terrain just, it's too easy. It's like driving down a highway basically and, and the challenge isn't there and then the fun factor isn't always there.
In the winter time on trails like this, the steep descents are often more scary or, or more stressful than the climbs themselves because in many cases you don't really have much control over what's going on when you're going down, especially if you don't have studded tires. Oftentimes with the steep downhills, you're just at the mercy of gravity and where it wants to take you, where the ruts want to pull you. If it's iced up, then you just keep building speed. You can't really steer or slow down. Having the studded tires is what makes you feel a lot more confident because you can slow down, you can steer, you've got some grip. It is a constant battle with the windshield keeping it clean. Um, if I wasn't filming, obviously I wouldn't be so OCD about it, but when I'm trying to get some video, I gotta keep it as clean as possible.
remember this place. I remember this spot. That's the one you deleted, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> You guys can't see this, but it's sketch. Oh, it's crazy sketchy. Sean, you can, but you gotta, you, you gotta, gotta come turn. up here. You want to go to the left as much as you can, because that stump, if you go on the wrong side of it, it you that way. And this one is nasty. You gotta keep your momentum and flow through this, or else you're gonna go that way. At least you got a tree to kind of stop. Yeah, yeah that's the why we put tree. that there. Yeah. That tree was there before. They chopped it down. I walk this hill. I know it's a little high, eh? It is high. It caught Tim, but he managed to kind of still salvage it. Beautiful. Yeah, we used to drive up, right? Look at that though, that looks awesome. That does. It's not a big huge climb, but you don't want, it's that stump right there, right? It's definitely one of those hills you gotta set up for. Yeah. I think if I hit it fast, I think I just launch it right over the other side. Yeah, just jump it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good at jumping. That's a perfect job. Watch out, he's coming. <laughs> That's a worst case scenario, hey, uh, almost. That was Stump. a misjudge of character. That stump's not good. Hey, uh, that was a misjudge of character there. <laughs> I think you need to miss the stumps. Yeah. I think we're gonna have to winch on that one a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And you're double hooked. Well, no, but like. You want to pull backwards? I think right? he needs to go that pull way. This way. Not that log was there. Oh. That was sketchy. Not that, that log was there. Oh. Whoever put this here was. Yeah, yeah, we, we did, did that last time. Upside right. down in there. Okay, I guess I'll hook on. Right. This oh stump God. just crunched inside. Though. Yeah, but it beats being in there. What if you put this up ahead a little bit? Just uh, I don't know if we're gonna really help. If we put it up, it might make it work. Maybe right? if we build a fence lodge. and like we screwed it into there. Because if that we put on top, it might lodge underneath one of the rock slides and next person. It's hitting this. Yeah, it everyone's just, hitting. It just slammed the side of the machine. Even if, unless they can, unless you can pull yourself from like that tree there, this way, if you fall in there, yeah. the machine's not holding you. No, no, he's not. You have to go off something yeah. that's not moving. Yeah, let's let's hook to so that. So we winch. can get my toe strap onto there so you can extend it. 
No, we're gonna put a strap to that. Just tree. unhook. You're like, you're like. Yeah, I feel it's that frozen. if that machine goes in any further, it's going to tip. So we should pull it back? He's going to hook up to that tree and pull himself over. Can we not pull his back end out over, though? Off. No, it's it the front. That's the problem. I don't like his front end. <laughs> that's why they want to wait the front end over first. You're a natural. <laughs> and subscriber. And a subscriber? What's your name? Claire. Thanks for subscribing, Claire. Do you like the videos? Yeah. Yeah? Cool. Well, now you're going to be in one of them. This has always been a sketchy spot. That was freaking. That was hard. You need to go literally over as far as you can. Yeah. Get yourself out of that. To redirect himself. It's frozen there. Good thing though. But we'll go back. As it would have been a bit cold. Yeah. We can hook my own. I don't know. Oh, they're going to hook right there. That's right. Well, I covered the net. I just don't want to hit his machine. You feel me? Yeah. Okay. A little bit of forward motion. Cut that branch on his wheel. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold on. Oh, he's, he's, he's pinned in there. No, because see, there's a branch pushing into his tire there. Yeah. It's in like the most inopportune spot. Front, front end only. Don't let that back end move. Again. <laughs> Lunch bag let down. <laughs> front, front end only. Don't let that back end move. Yeah, it's the front end. Good. We'll see the There. Your tire was jammed in there. You should be an arborist or something, man. You think, eh? <laughs> you knew an arborist, eh? Yeah, if only we knew someone that ran a tree service. Oh, you should be good now. Look at the, what are the odds of that, eh? Getting pinned in there like that. Ready? Hey, Greg. Watch your faces. Winch. Winch. More winch, tighten that up. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Okay, winch. Hard, hard Yeah, more winch, keep, keep winch, winch, keep winch. Winch! Keep winch. winching. He's, you're just off the wall. <laughs> you just... Keep yeah. winching, that's keep you, winching. what you got. It'll pull you off there. That Hold your brakes Whoa, you're and winch. Carnage. So back, I know, so your back like, tires don't do move. Do? Are you filming? Okay. Yeah. Your fender's yeah. off. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Now hold your brakes. There you go. Now you can drive. Hey, hold on, no, no. Wait, go, wait, go on, winch. Um, Keep on the winch. Hang on. Hold on. It's caught on there. Hit the. Hang on. Hold on. His brush guard's caught on there. Hold on. Okay. Yeah.
I know it's not as fun as riding with your regular riding group, but we You're... try to keep up. <laughs> You're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> no, I don't think they'd watch this video. Give them nightmares. Oh no, no, they probably watch only the first like five minutes. They go. Put your butt down. A few more trees here would be nice. <laughs> oh, it's getting better and better. Okay. Tony's coming up and turning. This is sketchy. Like. Oh yeah. You weren't kidding. I told you. There's some pretty crazy physics well, going on here. When, Gre <laughs> when Greg says it's sketchy, yeah. you, you can bet your own psychology. Yeah. Like I've never done mitts. that way before. We're good. Uh, yeah. We finally caved and had to put some on. Some mitts, eh? Yeah. Out of your heated cab too long. I know. Well, they were nice and toasty. Yeah, they they, they went from wet to dry. Yeah, okay. Oh, he's hitting it off the side. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is that what Tony just did? I wasn't paying attention. Keep it, keep it going, keep it going. Keep it, keep it going, keep it going. Can he use the wall? Oh, I think I'm next. <laughs> like a dog spider. spider. Yeah. <laughs> How was that? That's the way to go. Yeah. Play right there. Luke. Yeah, do it. Yeah, I think that would keep going as low as you can though, Sean. Timber! Hey, Julian. Watch your head there. Oh, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love my little Milwaukee. Well, Milwaukee's leading the charge and she is right now. Oh. She's coming down. Okay. Okay. Trail's closed. <laughs> yeah. Swing that over. Hang on, Dan. Hang on. Watch out, watch out, watch out. What's he doing? No, wait. Hold. Tell him to wait. Just tell him to wait. We still got it. Give him a thumbs up. Not gone yet. Hold on. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Come on, guys. Get up here. Hang on. Don't turn you over. There we go. Okay. I just cut these branches off on the side. There, it's wedged by the tree. Good. Nice, just add them in there as padding. Are you gonna drop that other one? Yeah. You might as well. Yeah, we can. Because that makes our plan kind of make sense. Because right now, that dropping that other one didn't do nothing. Unless we drop both. Yeah. Trail's closed again. Yeah. 
Okay, right there, that works. Right there. Hey, is this Adrenaline Junkie or is this SafetyJunkie.com? Looks a little bit safer. Don't do what I did, right you'll be fine. That's good. Yeah, Joy, that's perfect. It's wedged. Is it? Yeah, it's wedged here too. Yeah. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, let's really get rid of one of these. Okay. He's coming. But you can say you were the last one who did. Yeah. Here comes another. Here's Super Greg. Yeah, that's way better. See, because they're riding like right out to those trees now. Is it me now? Uh, that's that pucker factor I was talking about. I, I, I was laughing after the, the, the obstacle. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, you, everyone thinks tripod is cool. I just did a unicycle. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to see that. We got three angles of it, and uh, I think they're all gonna be pretty good. Holy cow! What do yours look like? Good. 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 Holy cow! I bet that looks crazy. Yeah. Because the studs, I think all the weight went on the front right wheel and instead of sliding, it dug in and gripped.
Get your chainsaw! so handy aren't they and they're so quiet so no one hears you this is like one of the worst jam ups you can get with like the logs they and, always slide in there and this is why we carry these right yeah they're so handy look at this guy with his with his gas saw Dickered. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. You, you got her dickered. I, I got in a weird spot. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'd say it's a cool spot. actually Polaris. That is cool. And we're rocking you. <laughs> yeah, I seen that already. <laughs> and you're making good call. Oh, Do you're, I gonna have, damage? you're gonna have to get out. I'm sorry. I just noticed. We're gonna have to make fire. Uh oh, we need fire. I didn't see I that until right now. I got snatch blocks and everything. We can, uh, Should have bought the beadlock. Should have splurged. Yeah. It'd be nice if we could get it off the. That's yeah. what we're gonna try to do. But... I was gonna. I got a um, snatch block. We could snatch it up to the tree, hook it back on the back end. No, and tip it this way. Just take the pressure off. Yeah, yeah. Just hook. getting it. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll get the snatch yeah. block and the. It's got I lots got a of tree ice. Hugger. We're gonna need something to scrape that. Yeah, it was just, just something to scrape this. That'll work. Thank you. That's a little leak. I was just. Oh, it's pretty extreme. That's nasty. Yeah, you like. You can't tell actually how bad it is until you look at it. So I came this way because I know that's tight over there and I was like just leaking through and. Yeah, it wasn't that bad when I. Everyone hits it. It's crazy because it's like there's underground springs or something. That, yeah, that was a hard one. Our, our frosty. No, that's yeah. great. Yeah, the, there's so much snow, it's insulating. Yeah. That out quick. But we had a lot of rain though before this Yeah, was and it's kind of like sitting under the snow there. Yeah. It's always something, eh? Yeah. How's that little camera yours working? Batteries you know what? The uh, batteries are still good. My GoPros are dead. That little camera is tiny. It's so handy. It, it is. It's like in your pocket. That's right here. How much was it? I want it. I think they're four ninety nine. I'll sick. see. I'll see the film. Like I, I, I went like this at home. And I took some videos of my it's boy. Be good. And it, it's it was. Like, it was like still. Not even moving. It, yet. No, it was one hundred percent still. Hey, wake you up. And down button on the gear drifter. Hold it tight, hon. Keep yep. it snug. This is just the one beam. Push it over that way as much as you can because it's going to naturally pull itself this way when it starts hugging. You don't want to overload the spool. Watch your hand. Watch your hand. Yeah, no, Watch your it's hand. going in. Keep watching your fingers now. It's getting snug. I just want the pressure off. Pull it, Greg. Pull it. That's it. Keep going. A little, little more. A little more. We need to get it right up if we can. It's almost there. A little more. Let's try it. That's fine. That's fine. Can you pull the tire over this way? Yeah, we'll just use the ice. Use my fingers as much as I could. Excuse we'll me. get you home, Dan. That's oh, I'm not worried. She might. Oh. But once she calls out, she'll be fine. But the bottom is on. The bottom's on still. Just so hold, hold on. Hold on. There's just a little. Watch your hand, Greg. Yeah. Is the valve set out? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's like sharp. No, no. I'm gonna push up here. Really? Yeah. Oh. Well, hold on. Oops. I bet you can almost get it, guys. Where's the? Uh, hold on. We got. We almost need to get more. The just, the tire's got to be almost a little hold on. Uh, up a little higher would be nicer. Just so. Is it's, your thing? You got a 12 volt that I, works. Yeah. 
I could take that winch off here and put it over here and make it tip. Or even put it I on this pull. bar or something. Maybe if we can get it off a little bit more, it'll. Oh, it I think it'll. It Sometimes yeah. you gotta twist it. The tire will be a bit more pliable. Yeah. It's, it's forcing against us right now. Uh, right yeah. now our compressor is not kicking in. Yeah, your compressor's not moving. Yeah, there's a nice big rut now. There. Okay. That will tweak that up. That should pull us. And it's okay. Oh, there we go. It's coming up. It's coming That's up. Better. There we Keep go. Keep going. Keep going. Right there. Right there. You're good. You're good. We're up. Oh, oh a bit it more. Slid. Sorry, I moved my foot off. That's all right. It's sliding that way. Yeah. Whoa, well, well, let's hold on. You know That's what? good. That's I good. Think like, I think we're going to get her. But we got to get that compressor. That I know. Tire. I think. Here, you know what? We can at least get it on, and we can pull up. You can get Julian over here. You got 12 volt in that place. Yeah, I can pull up. Sure. One second. Yeah, dude, you got no power. Well, Otherwise, she she go right. half the can or full can on yeah. this one. <laughs> Four pounds. You Aren't need you to gonna use the flamethrower to light it. All right, everybody, watch your face. Yeah. Yeah. No, we need no. to. It wasn't close enough. If it's we fine, can, it's fine. we need air though to push it. Like that's the problem. It'll, yeah, it'll we need see. air coming in. It'll see yeah, with this. I think you need air. Oh, yeah, you know how many times I've it. done my skid steer tire like this? Many times. That's why I think we're just a little low with the. I use the flamethrower method. You got there you it. go. There it goes. There it goes. Bring that snow on it. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. good. Oh. oh, you got a hole. Or we're are we leaking air on the bead? No, no, she's right gouged. here. That's not tight. No, no, she beat it, but you got a gouge in her somewhere. Hang on, right there. It's always something off-road. So we got that flat all fixed up, pretty much just need some air. So I'm gonna pull my machine up so that we can use my working 12 volt outlet. Uh, the fuses notoriously go on these 12 volt outlets or they get some water in there or they corrode. So we'll solve the problem like this. Give her a little extra since yeah. that bead is a little. Push that bead out. Yeah, over inflate it a bit. Well, it's pretty much just rolled oh, yeah. back now. Oh, so we're pretty much at oh, the baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. You like it. Wow, those rims are starting to steam. That uh, one hill. Oh, she moved. I can't get up now. I don't want to try it. I'm going to try it. Yeah. I you'll, probably, you'll probably make I think it with the stud. And we, we iced it up pretty bad last time. With a shot. Yeah. 10 PSI. Okay. Oh, down to 8. I'm good. Yeah. Well, we got the tire fixed, that's nice. And now the guys want me to try this upcoming climb because uh, they said no, they said it's super ice silver, so maybe I can make it up with the suds. And I bet if I make it up, it'll instigate them to try again. Where's this hill with my name on it? Right there. Oh, healthy. Jesus. Yeah. Steep again. How do I get back down? Uh, no, you just ride the ridge up there. We're gonna take the easy way around. And you'll meet me up there? Yep. You're the only one that's got a chance with these studs. Shake and bake.
is that worse? It's steeper there. Well, even with studs, some hills are just not passable, especially once you lose your momentum. It's hard to get going again and pick up enough speed to get the traction that you need. You just end up spinning in one spot. Uh, it's been a fun ride. The snow is always such an awesome time. Uh, a lot of us really enjoy snow riding. Um, I wish we could get out and do a bit more of it. Hopefully in the future, um, we can go on some more kind of epic snow adventures, let's say, some more epic winter rides. Uh, but we got a really, really good winter ride coming up in the next feature length edit from Minden Off-Road Park, aka Ray's Place. There's gonna be some carnage and some serious action. Those trails are wild in the summertime. Uh, we hit some gnarly, gnarly sections um, of rock and, 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 and other obstacles there that were completely iced over and covered in snow, so it's really good. You guys are really gonna enjoy that one. There's a lot of high RPM wheel spin in it. The Razor worked really well, all the other machines worked really well, no serious issues there, so that's always awesome. Front diff held together well, so we'll see, maybe we'll have to finish it off next ride. Um, it's one of those, like, when you don't care, it's gonna grenade, uh, it doesn't. When you don't want it to break, it does. Uh, Murphy's Law, just take a look at that sunset. It is beautiful out here this time of year, and I mean any time of year. While we're on the topic of front diffs, I will be doing an RS1 front diff conversion as well as the Joe Kaufman Hill Killer setup, so I can't wait to get that in. That's why I'm kind of saying I don't really care if the diff grenades eventually in the next little while because I've already got some big plans. I will be uploading an in-depth step-by-step video on how to do an RS1 front differential conversion. It's not as bad as it sounds. Um, if you watch the video, you'll pretty much be able to follow along. I'm using the Joe Kaufman setup from CCM. It's the exact same conversion bracket you get through All Things UTV. It is made and developed by him, as is the Hill Killer Diff setup, which is essentially the strongest, best diff build you can do for an RS1 diff, making it as close to bulletproof as possible. It is going to be a massive upgrade. It will essentially get rid of the Achilles heel of my current build being that stock front diff, adding reliability and hopefully allowing me to send it a little harder without worrying.
windshield. Thing was good most of the day. Then I had to hit that tow too hard. I had the vent closed because we were on the road and she fogged up and when she fogs up, she freezes up. And once it freezes up, it's just like game over. Oh yeah, we made it to the warm up shack. <laughs> Look at the razor all lit up. Looks badass. Adrenaline Off-Road Outfitters LED whips, four foot. We got the mic tuning LED rock lights. I got 16 of them in total. We got the Baja Designs single red interior dome light. Look at this thing all lit up. Why isn't yours green? Oh, you want me to turn it green? Yeah, baby. Oh, they're red. Huh. Green. Red green. Red green. That's pretty cool. Like a Christmas tree. Turn my headlights off. Yeah. Look at the cowie. We got that mic tuning light bar for team green shining green it's, it's extra canadian to be red green though it is yeah. yeah red green show some people might know what that is <laughs> the razor looks pretty sharp eh yeah it does that red is so bright i don't know if it was just my tv but it couldn't pick up like detail it couldn't inside. it couldn't it was like washing it out yeah the red was just yeah, bleeding i, know. I through noticed everything. in the video i'm like it's so much red that the camera's like what's going on <laughs> yeah. red overload yeah, like when you're in person, you can see all the detail inside yeah, there. But but on video, like you can even see it here. Well, maybe it might look okay, I don't know. But yeah, I know what you mean on that video. It looked oh, like it was it just, like messed up. It's just so much bleeding it's of red. It's like three days for this thing to fall, especially after the trailer <laughs> ride home. Oh. It's going to be an icicle. Yep. I even put some underglow lights. I put some rock lights in, under the, under there. Oh, cool. And here, just to give it some. <laughs> nice. And in the grill. Yeah going back to the tuner days you know that looks awesome on the baby on the civic yeah <laughs> the studs work well what a game changer with the studs isn't it that's awesome yeah yeah, yeah the cowie freaking did awesome too as always yeah you know what i'll never go up straight over into that spot oh ever again never you should try the unicycle sometime. <laughs> That's cool, man. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe it. I thought, like everything was running through my mind. Oh, no, 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 no. Man, it was sketchy in there. It, it was awesome though. It gave me that like pucker factor. My, my cheeks still hurt from smiling so wide. I think I stretched a, I think I stretched a smile muscle. I bet you did. You're all lit up, safe. X marks the spot. Yeah, oh, you got a big X over the razor. What are you trying to say, man? <laughs> Cowie Boss for the win. Out. Oh, man. You <laughs> jerk. Well, another good ride. What do you say? That was awesome yeah. ride. Yeah. Now Tyler's here. Maybe he wants to go for a little night ride. Hey, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I got to try out that new uh, light bar. But yeah, good times like usual. And uh, everything went well. We did some cool climbs. The cow we did. did well. Yep. The razor did well. All the machines did well. The Articat did well. It's a good time. It was a really good time. It's so fun riding in the snow. I love riding in the winter. And it changes today, everything. Everything that you think was like a normal climb, is when it's icy, yeah. it's terrible. And it's been cold, so the ground is completely frozen, right? And then we got all that rain there a few days ago. Yeah. So, and then yeah. all the snow on top, so it's kind of insulating and kind of I'm some hoping spots we can do watery. another few good winter rides before the season's over, because yeah. it's one of my favorite times to ride. Everything looks so nice. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, like the With snow, all the snow on everything. On the trees. Yeah. Well, let's go in the warm-up shack. Let's do it. Anyways, Cabin's guys, warm. smash that subscribe button. Like wait, and no, subscribe. Wait. Smash that like button, subscribe, follow us on Instagram <laughs> and on Facebook. Check out the Shopify store. Also, check out our sponsors. And if you're buying anything from Rocky Mountain ATV MC, make sure you smash our affiliate link. And a small commission goes back to the channel and helps us create more product, um, more video projects for you guys to enjoy. So anyways, let's go warm up now that that spiel's done. Snow everywhere. Like... This thing's gonna take forever to thaw. We got Super Greg's Pro XP. We got the 900S. All lit up red too. He's got the grill lights. Looks good. Oh, he's got a light up top as well. Nice. 
That's awesome. Good morning, Chef. Come on in, Holy sir. God. It's nice and warm in here. Holy The warm up chef. Drunk guy's place. You got style points, eh? For what? For the Coming unicycle? Up that one hill? The unicycle, yeah. yeah. That was intense. <laughs> We're just talking about Okay, Tim, get up on the pole. <laughs> my mother might see this. <laughs> Yeah, she's one of my top subscribers. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't have a chance. I see you're like. Corny, do it. X marks the small. Oh, man. This is. All this shit. This is going on the fans only page. <laughs> only fans or whatever. Ew! Hey, ma'am. Okay, bye. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Hey, buddy. Good times. Good times. Good times. Always. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye. Hey, bye. 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 Okay, see ya. Bye. 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 Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Another good ride. We're just heading back to the trailer. sticking around to the end of the video guys it is giveaway time so in order to enter the draw for a set of adrenaline off-road outfitters four foot led whips you need to use the hashtag adrenaline off-road in a comment and let us know what kind of machine you're going to be putting your new whips on this contest is open to anyone in Canada or the United States, and it includes free shipping. If you'd like more specific details on the giveaway, then head on over to our website at www.adrenalinejunkieprod.com. You can also check out the Adrenaline Off-Road Outfitters website and check out all the various products they offer. They have a ton of different lighting products, and they are great quality. I haven't had any issues with my whips over the last year. Big shout out to them for making this giveaway possible and stay tuned, we're gonna have a lot more awesome giveaways heading your way in future videos. The giveaway starts the day the video is released and it will end on or after July 31st, 2022. We will select a winner then. The winner will be announced on the YouTube comments. I will respond to the winner's comment on there and let them know they've won. You will not be asked to contact me through WhatsApp or any other service. If you hear that, it is likely a scam. The internet is full of scammers, so please don't fall for that stuff. I will also announce the winners on Instagram and on Facebook so you can pay attention on there as well. If you don't follow us there already, then make sure you do so you don't miss any future giveaways or any future video action. Ride safe out there, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.